Inflation. So what is inflation? We sometimes hear news about inflation rates, and often inflation rates is a point of acrimonious contentions between between politicians. Inflation is the general increase in the prices of basic goods and services. A given amount of money loses its purchasing power with the passing of years due to inflation. And one way to dramatize how inflation affects the purchasing power of money is by showing the minimum transportation fare for a jeepney. So in the mid-1970s, when I was a student going to St. Teresa's Academy here in my province, the minimum fare was 25 centavos. Now, if I want to visit my alma mater, I would have to pay 11 pesos. So how does this change in the minimum fare illustrate the phenomenon of inflation? Well, it's something like this. 40 years ago, 25 centavos can help me go places in our town. I can go to the city, I can go to the next municipality, I can do many things for 25 centavos. But now, 25 centavos is practically without worth. I mean, when I ride a jeepney now, and when I pay 11 pesos, and some of them are 25 centavo coins, You know what? Sometimes the jeepney would just return my 25 centavos because he just feels that it's not worth collecting something that is almost worthless. And so that's what happened with 25 centavos. It has lost so much of its purchasing power. Let us look into the purchasing power of 100 pesos. In the period of 10 years, given that the average inflation rate is 3%. Actually, the average inflation rate in our country is between 2.3 and 2.9% for the past two years. But let's make it 3% so that we can uh, do some easy computation. So what's going to be the future value of 100 pesos in terms of purchasing power, given that we have an average inflation rate of 3%. So this is how it's going to be. The future value is going to be an exponential function, but, but look at this, it is a decreasing function. So our function that will compute for the purchasing power of 100 pesos is going to be a decreasing function, it is actually an exponential function, but a decreasing because this one, the value of 1 minus r is between 1 and 0. And so going back to your general math from grade 11, high school, so this is a decreasing function. And this is what happens. The purchasing power of your 100 pesos will decrease, will be diminished as time goes on. So if you have 100 pesos today, next year its true purchasing power will have become 97 pesos only. And with each year, it will lose 3% of its purchasing power. And by 2030, its true purchasing power is reduced to 73 pesos and 74 centavos. Example 2.23, effect of inflation on salary. Teddy's annual income in 2016 was was 250,000 pesos. What should be his annual income today so that it matches the general increase in the price of basic goods and services? Assume that an average inflation rate since 2016 had been 3% each year. So his salary must increase by at least 3% each year so that it can still buy the quantity of basic goods and services that it used to buy in year 2016. By today, year 2020, coming from 250000 as an annual income, his annual income today should be 281377 
if he wants his income to be able to buy the same quantity of goods and services that his salary of four years ago was able to buy him. So, managing the inflation rate is important for many governments. And governments everywhere are aiming to keep a low inflation rate. So, what is considered a low inflation rate? An inflation rate that is a one-digit inflation rate is considered to be a low inflation rate. And the fact of the matter is our economy had been doing well in terms of managing its inflation rates. For the past 20 years, our inflation rate had been significantly below 10 and below 9%. In fact, for the last five years, our inflation rate is somewhere around 2.3%. And that is a manifestation of an economy that is being managed well.